Welcome to this video demonstration of how the Scara ERP helps you better manage your inventory purchases from procurement to payment. When you log into the Scara ERP, the first screen you see is your dashboard. It features an app-like design which displays the modules of the Scara ERP in the form of a map of business operations, making it easier for new users to spot their workflow responsibilities and dive right in to using the modules that they need. These are the modules that let us create the records and documents needed to procure and pay for inventory. And these are their related reports that help us in better managing multiple transactions of this sort. Note that all modules can still be accessed from the left side menu, which retains the traditional drop-down list interface of legacy ERP systems. Let's check our product master to see if there's any inventory running low in stock. The Product Master lists all of your inventory items and inventory assemblies, and clicking on a product name or ID lets you view the inventory item's detailed attributes. Let's click Reorder Products to see only product stocks that have reached their threshold level, which indicates that they need to be reordered, such as these inventory items. So let's procure the appropriate reorder quantity to replenish their stock. Do note that you can always redefine a meaningful reorder level and reorder quantity for any inventory item. Let's create a purchase order for those inventory items that were low in stock. All we have to do is fill up this form. The Scara ERP will check to ensure that all mandatory fields are filled up, such as the vendor, debit term, and ordered products and that there are no erroneous entries such as zero order quantities before allowing us to save the purchase order and print it, export it, or email it to the vendor. Such checks on proper data entry is prevalent across all Descara applications. Also, the amount of information you can enter is not limited to the form fields you see here since Descara ERP allows you to create custom form fields. If your vendor has agreed to deliver first and then await your payment within a stipulated payment term, you would first create a goods receipt note to formally record your warehouse receiving the goods, and then create a vendor invoice to record down the invoice supplied by your vendor into your system. Otherwise, creating the vendor invoice is done beforehand or at the same time. In creating the goods receipt note, we can fetch data from our purchase order or even from the vendor's sales invoice if it's already been created in our system. The imported data will automatically populate this form and we can still make changes to them if necessary. Many Descara modules are integrated to allow this kind of linking and sharing of common data, which not only saves you time from repeated data entry, but also reduces the risk of making clerical errors and duplicate entries. If necessary, you can even specify more unique identifiers such as the product's serial number and its batch, row, rack, or bin in the warehouse. And if you have a barcode scanner, you can save time from typing in product IDs and serial numbers by scanning the barcodes of the goods directly into the system. In recording down the vendor's invoice, we can also fetch data from our purchase order or from our goods received note if it's already been created, and then make any changes to the imported data if necessary. Now let's formally account for our payment to the vendor. Again, we just need to fill out a form. The vendor's invoice needs to be referenced here. If we look at our journal entry records, we can see that the Scara ERP has automatically created journal entries from the goods receipt note, vendor invoice, and payment voucher to mark the impact to your general ledger. Part of the value of a connected application is that every step automatically synchronizes to your general ledger, helping you keep track of costs and preventing revenue leakage. 
We have completed one set of transactions with our vendor from procurement to payment, and each transaction is reflected on reports which list a history of every purchase order, goods receipt note, vendor invoice, and payment that has ever been made. There's also the aged payables report that lists all the pending payments which you have to clear before their payment term deadlines. These reports are especially useful if you have to manage such transactions on a much larger scale or if you have to trace existing transactions and take further actions on them such as printing them, editing, email, or exporting them, and more. We have come to the end of this video and I hope you have found it informative please feel free to contact us with further inquiries. Thanks for watching.